Hi Capricorn and welcome to your Love Tarot Forecast. This is for May 1st through May 15th, 2019. And I do apologize that these are a little bit late, but I was working on final revisions to my decks. I've sent those off. They should be back in about a week. So those of you who are interested in purchase, um, I am almost there. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what is up for you guys in regards to love and romance for these next two weeks. Okay, so we have disillusionment. We have eternally yours. And things left unsaid. Okay, um couple different things happening here, Capricorn. Um, sorry, it drives me nuts if I can't get them, like, kind of straight. Um, so, I feel several things with that, actually. Um, some of you who have really uh, been wanting somebody or thinking they were your one... I don't know, Capricorn, there's something that happens over these next two weeks where you're just kind of snapped out of that. You're disillusioned um, by them somehow, some way where you're like, mm, man, I don't know. I, I really don't know if, if you are what I thought you are or if you're the one that I really want. So some of you, it's like you've just really thought you knew who your one was, who you always wanted to be with. And now you're just uh, coming into this decision. Mm, that's not who I want. It could just be a shift in consciousness. It could be because there's somebody new coming into your world. All right, we'll have to pull more cards. But some Capricorns out there, it's like you're having a total consciousness shift about who you thought you wanted to be with. Okay, now. For other Capricorns, um, what I'm getting is this is kind of going the other way around where there's somebody who um, I feel didn't really give you a chance, didn't give you the time of day, didn't appreciate you, you know, it's something along those lines. And now there's this disillusionment taking place within them about themselves, about life, and there's a recognition of you and what you brought and who you are. And there's things now inside their heart that they wish they could express and they wish that they could say to you, okay? Um, some of you, you may hear from somebody um, that you haven't spoken to in a while. Could be a missed connection. Could have been somebody who rejected you. Could have been somebody you rejected. Um, old flame, you know, it's just some Capricorns, there's somebody I feel that's reaching out to you guys. And um, I'm going to express their heart. Um, those of you in committed relationships, um, I feel there's been some tension, there's been some challenge, some things going on here. And these first two weeks of May is bringing forth a disillusionment, um, moving the restriction, the challenge, whatever was distorting the energy is being lifted and we're coming back into a place of you are the one, the only one that I want. And um, the, you know, sweet words of I love you or thank you or you're amazing, my life wouldn't be complete without you, all that type of thing that has not been said, it's like that's going to be said, that's going to be expressed, that's coming forth, okay? So let's pull some more cards, Capricorn. That one is definitely meant to be part of this. We have Not Over You. Guess we're not surprised to see that with the opening, right? And we have Blame. Okay. So this is the distorted energy for those of you in relationships um, where, you know, there's something going on and I get the sense that one person uh, was being kind of blameful and mean and uh, cold and now they're having the disillusionment of their own ego and self-perception and they're realizing mm, maybe I was wrong because this 
person is my person like what am I doing why am I acting like this you know um, I feel we're coming more to a place of compromise now um, those of you where this is somebody that we are not speaking to uh, there's a wake-up call coming in because we have not over you all right and things left unsaid all right those are mirroring each other and now we have this blame right here disillusionment and so that's what's changing all right um, somebody's perception is really shifting and where they were angry and uh, blameful or uh, not taking any sort of accountability that's changing we're not over each other okay we are meant to uh, work this out and be with each other um, let me see yeah I don't this so far this is not really like uh, new energy coming in the only message about that was for some Capricorns that are just having this weird shift of who they thought they were supposed to be with they just they don't feel that way period like psh, it's changed and in that situation I feel those Capricorns are single um, they've been hoping to get with a particular person or hoping to get back with a particular person but there's something that happens over these two weeks where it just shifts. It's not even like painful, like, oh, it's like, oh my God, why? Why have I been wanting you? Like, no way. It's that type of shift for some Capricorns. Um, and so that's good. It's very liberating. It's very freeing type of energy. Um, now, those of you in existing partnerships, again, there's been this uh, challenge of energy where I feel somebody's being very blameful. I'm not taking any real accountability for themselves or how they act or the way they participate in things, which has left the other person kind of feeling, you know, unloved and on the outs. And now we're going to have this perception shift and the one who's been blameful is going to start owning up, okay? And I've been seeing that as a bit of a repeating theme through all these readings and I only have two more after you guys so uh, there is this stepping up and taking accountability um, and then again there's somebody returning from the past for some of you guys where they're just they're not over you and they're realizing they're, they're not going to be in the disillusionment it comes within themselves and um, you know I want to make this right and now Capricorn because this is general this could be you where you're having this disillusionment about yourself and you're realizing that you've been wrongfully blaming somebody for the way things have been going or the way things turned out and now you're realizing oh my god you're the one I truly love and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to let you know this okay because there is the element of things not being said words being kept in our heart okay so let's pull some more cards We have competition, jealousy, old flames, new or reigniting flame, awakened, evolved yin, feminine flame, divine feminine of emotions, okay, so authentic, deep, empathic. Next out is the journey, aspiration, pursuit, travel. And lastly is five of emotion, broken heart, missing you, remorse. Okay. So Capricorn, I get the feeling that uh, some of you may have gotten the shaft um, by somebody you were dating um, with no commitment or maybe somebody you did have a commitment with. And it's almost like... Um, there were some, you know, old flames of theirs or there's other people coming in and I feel like they they kind of screwed you over and went with this other person um, or refused to commit and now um, and they blamed you like, oh, you're trying to back me in a corner or you're trying to move too fast, all these things. And now, 
here they are feeling stupid because they're missing you, okay? They're not over you. Their heart is broken over you. There's remorse for the way that they handled things because these two energies, there's two feminines here, okay? So that's why I feel it's like one person got picked over the other. And, uh, you know, that might be what this disillusionment is for some Capricorns where they're like, you know what, you pick somebody else over me, that's all it takes. I'm out of here. Like, no way. You had your chance, okay? Um, but for others, this is where the person that uh, picked somebody else over you, the grass wasn't greener. And now they're like, okay, yeah, like, you are, you're the one. Like, I don't know what I was doing, and now I'm going to pursue you hardcore because um, I miss you. I have a lot of remorse for what I did, for what I said, for how I handled things, okay? So, um, newer reigniting flame. Definitely feel Capricorn. There's uh, some of you that are dealing with a connection where you weren't done right and now they're coming back in hardcore trying to win your love back and they have a recognition of that they screwed up. Now, um, are they owning up to it or not? I think they are, okay? Um, some of them are not going to if they can get away with not owning up to it, so make them. All right, Capricorn, and this, again, could go the other way, where you were kind of dealing with a couple of people, and you chose one over the other, and now you're coming into this uh, place of, wow, that was a huge mistake. Um, the grass is not greener over here, and I really miss my person and um, oh my god I'm gonna do whatever it takes um, to get them back uh, some Capricorns I do feel this is more of the singles um, that you are like in pursuit of trying to be with somebody but um, if you feel like there's more than one person in their life or that you just kind of get pushed to the back burner you want to leave that alone like don't even put your hat in that ring um, because I just feel this person has multiple situations going on, okay? There's multiple people in pursuit of them. And um, if you try to ask for a commitment um, or call them out on it, it's like they're going to blame you and, and push you away because there's so much attention going on in their life. So keep that in perspective, those singles out there where, you know, who you're trying to pursue or you feel interested in, it just like... I don't know, like you just know you're not the only one, okay? And we're not in a commitment, so it's like we can't complain about that. Um, you want to back off from that and give that person a chance to truly fill your absence. Um, I feel you you get further by pulling away rather than um, trying harder to pursue, okay? And some of you, it's like you're finding out that there's more than one in their life and that's what your disillusionment is about. And you're like, screw that, I'm done. I'm like, it's me or or it's not. So um, I do see some of that coming through for some of the singles. All right, let's pull some more cards. So our jumper is sacred love, distance and disconnection, self-healing journey, reaching out, sexual attachment, and heart connection. Okay, yeah. Um, Definitely the one who's kind of been dating a few people or there was more than one in their life, they're realizing that one of them is just pretty much like a sexual type of connection, attachment, more of a superficial. And the other one, you, it's a heart connection, Capricorn. They are missing you. They are missing that. Um, those of you that are still involved with this person, I like I said, I feel you need to disconnect and step away, um, work on some self-healing here. And that 
brings them closer to you than if you keep trying to pursue because if you keep trying to pursue I feel we fall into just a sexual attachment because there's so much option here but you stand out by stepping away and having more respect for yourself than that and saying look I'm a prize and if you can't see that I'm a prize go ahead and deal with the lanes okay you have all that candy and get sick on it I'm the real thing I will last I'm eternal and I'm not dealing with this there's just like um, that's so sexy okay that type of energy of I will not stand for this you go have your fun all right I'm looking for something real that's very sexy to this person for some reason or again Capricorn if you're the one that's kind of juggling a few one of them might step up and say that to you and you're gonna realize damn that's the one my heart's attached to and I didn't even know it before this moment okay um, I definitely feel like there is somebody coming back from the past for many Capricorns just because we have old flame and we have reaching out could be a water sign uh, cancer Leo or cancer Leo Scorpio <laughs> cancer Scorpio or Pisces perhaps some of you uh, this is a Leo that you are dealing with all right Leo is fire sign we do have three fire we have the feminine flame here however that represents the Empress but very well could be a fire sign of Leo since I had that slip um, come out um, anyways those of you in existing connections um, yeah I do feel there's an element of needing to put foot down a bit and some boundaries but I do feel there your partner's gonna come around we're gonna work through this um, and they're just gonna realize I've been kind of a jerk or a B-I-T-C-H just whatever the case is here and I don't want to be distant from you I don't want us to have any sort of distortion between us but most strongly Capricorn um, somebody from the past reaching back out to you and I feel after you've been kind of on a self-healing journey for quite some time and um, whoever is pursuing a Capricorn they are pursuing the Capricorn hardcore uh, just with this lineup of cards here so Capricorn um, if somebody is juggling you with many let them go that's the sexiest thing you can do others of you who kind of stepped away from somebody or a connection just didn't work I feel because somebody was a bit arrogant and egotistical um, they're returning because their heart hurts without you in it okay like they miss you in their life um, those of you in existing connections I feel we're going to have kind of a breakthrough and be stronger after these two weeks. Um, there's just some heavy energy, some weirdness you guys were dealing with, and now we're coming out of that, you know, especially with the Ace of Flames showing up here. Um, single Capricorns, there could be new love coming in, a couple of options for you, actually. So keep that in mind, okay? So those are your messages, Capricorn. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.